We've had almost $4 billion of new economic development either built, under construction, or in plans right now. So this is not just about providing mobility options to a community, it's about building community. We're really excited about the opening of our Gold Line Phase 2 streetcar project. We've had fantastic success, both from a ridership and an economic development standpoint, but we're really excited for the first time to begin connecting communities. The historic West End of Charlotte, which is an historically African-American community, through Uptown, the Central Business District in Charlotte, and then to a rapidly growing east side of Charlotte through the Elizabeth and Hawthorne communities. We started our first phase of streetcar with an historic trolley. And so moving to the S70 modern streetcar has really been a game changer, not only for us from an operational standpoint at CATS, but for our customers. They're really excited about the sleek, modern, level boarding, comfortable seating, and the ability to move throughout the city, even within traffic as a streetcar does, rather than our light rail system. It is the policy of Charlotte to move towards zero emissions and zero carbon footprint by 2050. Being able to provide hybrid technology on the streetcar was an important step towards that ultimate goal. It also really helps us lessen the impact to neighborhoods and businesses by not having to operate on wire and run catenary through the central business district. The performance of the vehicle is greater than even our wildest dreams in this. We're running several miles off wire. Originally we thought we would get about a quarter to a third of a mile, but the performance has been fantastic. Well, it's been a great partnership with Siemens, and we worked hand in hand throughout the manufacturing process to make sure that we met not only the needs of a transit agency, but also of the community. I am very bullish on the future. There is nothing that beats the reliability of a dedicated right-of-way with reliable vehicles. We're very excited about not only building out additional rail corridors as we meet our rail system plan, but also I think this is a trend that will continue to develop nationwide as people are looking for more sustainable mobility options.